Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday again. Wellness Wednesdays with me, uh, Marla Boyle, Education Director for Intelligent. Um, I'm back and sharing with you a little different um, focus today on wellness and well being. I wanted to take you through some of the do's and don'ts of wellness, well being. I like the word well being because we are a being, human being, and we want it, this whole physical space that is us to be well. So that's how I refer to it. And so I'm going to start uh, actually today with a little breath work. Uh, I chose to pick one of my favorite products, the, sorry, I'll hold it up one more time, uh, right there, uh, the Intella Seed, uh, Seed Synergy Hydro Lotion. And I'm just putting a small amount, like, that much on my finger, but I'm not putting it on my face and putting it on my hands. We're going to start with a little breathe in moment before we dive in further. And so I'd like for you to sit with your feet uh, flat on the ground uh, or stand uh, solidly and make sure all your joints are stacked, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, hips over knees, knees over ankles. And we're just going to breathe. And so I have this aroma on my hands. I want you to place your fingertips at your brow center. And I just want you to start breathing in. And I want you to know that you're breathing in this beautiful 99% certified organic essential oil aroma. Know that this aroma's top notes are a lang lang, a beautiful, rich floral. Uh, there's bergamot, uh, beautiful crisp citrus, uh, vanilla, and geranium. And for me, it is such a luxurious aroma. So I want you to keep breathing in. And if you feel more comfortable and you want to just take your hands and place them in your lap or set them alongside your body, I do want you to try to keep your eyes closed if you can. And in this breathing moment, I want to focus on building you up and building some space for positive vibration in us, positive energy. So as you breathe, I want you to imagine around you is this beautiful, pale, pink, beautiful, glowing energy. And as you breathe in, I want you to breathe in the word patience. So breathe in patience and see this energetic space around you expanding. Then I want you to breathe in the word calm. So breathe in expansively the word calm. And then your next inhale, breathe in peace. And expand that word peace within you. And then the last word, just breathe in harmony. Expand and breathe in harmony because we all need all of those in our space to operate and function really well each day. So you can open your eyes if you want. I wanted to just share with you some things that uh, science has to say about the good do's and the not so good don'ts about keeping us better well beings. And to start with, um, you know, being a well being comes down to being present, so keeping your brain active, but really focusing on one task at a time. Uh, if you think multitasking is the way to go, let me be really clear with you. Science has proven that there is no such thing as multitasking. All you're doing is task switching. Um, your brain is not capable of doing multiple tasks to full excellence at the same time. So try to just focus on one task at a time, do it really well. Uh, try to lower the amount of information that's coming in you at one time, slow things down. Maybe instead of having the TV on and looking at your device and having music playing, maybe just slim it down to just one thing. Or instead of getting up in the morning and bringing all this information that you're looking at on your device or your TV, maybe just choose not to. 
Uh, choose to go a little simpler, a little slower. Choose what you put uh, in your brain. Sitting for too long uh, is really, really not great for you. And I know in our industry, in the salon and spa, you're doing a lot of standing. So actually make sure to make space for some sitting and movement uh, so that you actually get lubrication into your joints because your bones don't actually like standing all day long. Uh, I am privileged enough to have a motion desk, a standing desk, so I can move up and down all day long. But with that, I also move around uh, and walk for, you know, 60 seconds to five minutes just to loosen everything up. I do some stretching in between. Really important. Um, the amount of screen time that we have, uh, how much we're staring at a computer, a device, really impacts our brain, really impacts uh, from the limbic system, the neocortex. So limbic is long-term memory and neocortex is what's happening right now in the presence, it's the thinking brain. Um, you've got your reptilian part of the brain as well, which is our fight or flight, but you're also affecting uh, the pituitary gland the, um, and all the signal, the hypothalamus and what's putting all the signals out. So really see if you can't cut some of that down. Um, headphones, cutting down how much time you actually have buds in your ears or over your ears. Your ears are not designed to just take on all of this intense sound so closely to it. We were not built that way. So really be mindful. It's a delicate, uh, beautiful little system we have going on here. And when you lose it, if you are not able to hear, uh, that's a sad day. So be gentle and kind uh, and make sure you're getting enough sleep. So sleep is really one of the main causes for disruption in our body, for dis-ease uh, and for imbalancement and a place for uh, inflammation to begin. Your body rests and restores and replenishes itself when we sleep. So if you can have good quality sleep, uh, whether it's six hours, whether it's eight hours, um, your body needs it, your organ needs it. Every single function in your body relies on solid, undisrupted sleep. So slowing things down before you go to bed, turn off some lights, low lights, stop looking at your phone or the TV or the radio, just get into a quieter space uh, before you go to bed. So then we talk about food. Um, food is a really big deal for me. I teach a lot about it uh, in the other type of work that I do. Um, the amount of minimize, the amount of processed foods you're eating. So that means pretty much unless you're eating fresh raw vegetables and fruits and herbs, food is processed at some level, even rice. Okay, so you want to minimize the amount of processes it's gone through. So a rice or a pasta, pretty minimal, lowest amount of processing. Uh, but then you start moving into packaged protein bars, packaged soups, packaged uh, mixes, all that kind of stuff goes into higher uh, levels of processing, which then stimulates inflammation in the body. So you really want to keep it at the lowest or zero amount possible. You want to increase your intake of fruits and vegetables, particularly the fruits that are a little bit lower reactive to your glycemic index, your berries, um, fruits with higher fiber, apples, pears, um, pomegranate seeds, all your seed berries are fantastic. You want to, bananas are great if they're on the greener side, um, the sweeter they get, the faster it picks up your glycemic index. Um, I could spend a whole day and I do teach this in a different way, but so really focusing on good fibrous vegetables um, and they don't always have to be in their raw form, steaming them, sauteing them, roasting them, beautiful ways to eat uh, lots of uh, good solid vegetables. Um, all of those things, um, getting good whole grains, uh, whether you're getting uh, quinoas or amaranth or barleys or farro, you want to stick with some of the more hardier ancient grains. Uh, one, because they uh, break down slower in your body in terms of your sugar, but they are also actually more readily um, available. Rice actually in its general form is becoming um, a bit of a challenge with climate change going on right now. So look to other alternatives if you can. 
Um, also some simple quick pick me up. So we've gone from kind of emotional stimulus, food, body, and, and I've just like tapped the surface of food for the body. Um, so some simple things you can do. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Oh my goodness, breathe, breathe in. Um, engaging your senses, change your surroundings, go for a walk outside, go for a walk in a beautiful garden, uh, listen to nature. Don't always have something going on in your ears. Nature's got some great things going on and has some amazing music playing for you. Um, surround yourself with uplifting things, uh, positive things to keep your energy high. And I'm not saying ignore or downplay any experiences that create sadness or um, downward emotions that are hard and difficult. Uh, absolutely, that's part of life. Uh, what I'm saying is you have a choice to feel a certain way every day. Do your best if you can to try to put yourself uh, in a positive space or just a higher, higher vibe space if you can. Uh, pay someone a compliment. Smile. Yay, yay, yay. Uh, five minute pick me ups. Listen to some great music, some music that moves your soul, that lifts you. That's uh, high vibe music. Uh, write a gratitude list. Can't even tell you how amazing gratitude is for you and for your body, for your brain, for your emotions, for your heart. When we serve from a space of gratitude every single day, well being happens. It's amazing. And that's a whole nother class I got going on altogether. Um, talk live to a friend instead of texting them all the time. Meet somebody for coffee or a cocktail or a walk. Be in person. Talk to people. Get off uh, your phone. Talk live. Get some emotions going. Practice some movement, some running, some walking, some yoga, tai chi, qigong. I mean, have a great space for yourself. Laugh. Oh, my gosh. Find some space to laugh. Uh, I have to work on that every single day because I take myself too seriously. So laugh every day. Um, and one of the most major things, um, you know, for the body that you can do really easily right now, take a glass of water, take a drink of water, 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 just plain water. It's beautiful. You don't need to put all the stuff in it. You don't need to hype it up with protein or electrolytes or this or that. Just drink good old, fresh, good water all day long next to air the second thing in in what's going to keep you alive is water we can't survive without air we cannot survive without water water is what makes up what we are we're like 90 percent water in our body your body needs water so please drink more of it the moment you get up have a glass of warm water drink at least if you can be conscious of it one more glass of water today than you did yesterday Build yourself up to a decent amount of water. Everybody's a little different, but you need to be drinking it. And so take care of yourself. Be um, be aware of this. You only got one body. It's got to last you a long time. And, and I want you to be around for a long time so that we can share experiences together. So um, I hope that helps you. Um, be kind. Kindness also is a great space for wellness. Uh, gratitude. Be thankful for every little thing. Like, I'm grateful for the glass of water. I'm grateful I actually get to do this and talk to you and share some inspiration. I'm grateful that the sun is still shining today. Uh, it is the um, fall equinox. So fall starts today, and that means summer's ended for us here uh, in the upper hemisphere. And now I'm excited to start transforming and moving into fall. So, and a million other things I'm thankful for today. So, um, thanks for being with me. Appreciate you. Um, I look forward to seeing you every Wednesday. I will not be here next Wednesday because I'll actually be on vacation. That's another form of wellness. Um, finishing up the month of celebrations of my birthday. So be well, take care, and we'll talk to you soon.